Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to the general monthly reading for November for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos, because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are needing this information just like you. And if you don't already know, this is my new book. It just, it's, or it, yes, it just came out in print. I have it now, as you can see, and I'm very excited. And if you're interested, it's available now. And just send me an email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. Also, if you are interested in booking a private reading and you would like to see my private reading list, send me an email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. And I always have all my information in the drop down box below this video and all of my videos. Okay, so let's take a look. Sagittarius, we've got some transits going on. So I am taping today is the 24th of October and tomorrow is the new moon in Scorpio, zero degrees and is also a solar eclipse. So a big deal, big deal. And let's see, the next full moon is going to be on November 8th and that will be 16 degrees Taurus. And this is a big deal because we have the North Node in Taurus and transiting Uranus still in Taurus, which they are still conjunct. And now with this full moon on the 8th, it's all, they are all three conjunct. Big deal, big deal, because that is going to be a lunar eclipse. So we still have Saturn in Aquarius and it's now direct. And so it's gonna begin 18 degrees and then it will move into 19 degrees for the rest of the month. Pluto is 26 degrees Capricorn and will remain so all month long. And then we also have, we have Mars in Gemini and that is going to square transiting Jupiter in Pisces and Neptune in Pisces. So that's another big deal and that is going to be most of the month, most of the month. So it starts now and through approximately two and a half to three weeks. Okay, so that is all of that. So let's get started Sagittarius and see what is happening for you this month of November. And of course, like I always say, if this reading is not right for you, that is perfectly okay because your natal wheel and your planets and the transiting planets are going to be always unique and individual to each and every one of you. So if it's not right, you might wanna check your moon, your sun or your rising or your north or south nodes of the moon. Okay, so let's see for Sagittarius, what is happening now through, let's get these sort of out, through the end of November for Sagittarius. I just got the word choices. So there are going to be choices apparently for you, Sagittarius, this month. Choices, choices abound. So many choices, opportunities, things coming towards you, decisions, making decisions. Um, there's a lot going on. I just got you're going to be busy, Sagittarius, for some of you. Okay, the death card, it's 
a moth. You could be seeing moths or moths could be important, significant sign or synchronicity for some of you I just got. Let me just take a look. My glasses here. Yes, destruction, renewal, real truths. So that this is your month. This is what's happening for you. Destruction, renewal, and then real truths. So truths are coming out. Of course, we this is happening in the world around us and in your personal life as well. So a lot is going on. There you go. Maybe all three at the same time or, or right after each other, one right after the other without any um, time lapse or stagnation in between is what I'm getting. This is quick, 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 quick movement for you, Sagittarians. But I'm getting you ready to fly. I was just drawn to the picture of the, see the big wings of the, the moth. And some of you are looking quite beautiful, handsome, beautiful. You're really in your element. You are um, just shining and sharing your full colors are just out there for all to see. And it's quite amazingly beautiful and handsome for those of you males. And you're standing out, I'm getting too. You're standing out, you're getting noticed. You might have Scorpio in your chart, you don't have to, but some of these similar things that I'm saying have I said in Scorpio. So if that sounds right for you, you might wanna check out the Scorpio reading as well. Some of you have long hair, long dark hair I'm getting too. And people are noticing that they're, or they will be, and they will be commenting. Or maybe your clothing for some of you wearing a unique color, something that stands out is bright and, and that assists you in being noticed. But your natural beauty, regardless, is shining from the inside out, Sagittarius, and you are being noticed for that. So whatever you had been working through, putting to death, and this new transformation is coming out, you're being seen now and being applauded for it. Okay, number 13, and insight. You're gaining insight into something, again, with this destruction, renewal, and real truths, or real truths is going to give you some type of insight that you don't already have right now. Maybe some of you are asking questions and you, you don't know which way to go or what direction, or you're just, um, you're just not sure about something. And so the truth is coming in. You will get the answer. You will get the correct answer, the best answer for you. You will get that insight. You will get that. Some of you, it's going to be intuitively. Others of you, it's going to come from the outside, from another. Or maybe you, I'm getting you're watching a review, or you're watching, you're watching something, and you get the answer. Some of you, it's going to come in the mail. I just got two. I got a mailbox. Maybe some of you are waiting, waiting for something to come in the mail, and you will receive it. But you are also, you are lit up energetically. Again, you're shining from within is what I'm getting. Sagittarius. That's beautiful. Okay, so, and number 13 is a master number. It's a special number. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's a master number, but it's a special number. And I'm getting twin flame for some of you. If that, if that is what you, if you're single and you're looking for your other half or uh, maybe you have just found another uh, your 
compatible or whatever word that might be right for you because there are different words for what I'm speaking and so the names are are uh, different but generally they mean some of it means the same thing and so whatever again this is a general reading so whatever's right for you whatever word you want to use for that your dear friend whatever that is for some of you and maybe if that's it's not a new person it's someone that you're able to bond to that you already know or you're already together with and now you're really um, combining your energies you're really combining and uh, joining energetically not just physically but energetically emotionally physically physically and spiritually yes and it makes you strong you're strong or you are this is what your energy is going to be if it's not already by the end of the month your strength you will see and know and feel your own strength and how strong you are how powerful you are and others are also also seeing it and they will be telling you and I'm also getting your beautiful strength that is a strength your beauty your inner and outer beauty number eight could be significant for you too you could have Leo in your chart you could have your birthday in August I'm getting for someone for some of you but you don't have to that's just a drawn to the number eight could be another reason why number eight could be your life path number okay two of cups yes so again if you are single you there's a significant other that is coming towards you you are coming towards them your energies you are uh, um draw you are calling each other you are it's like a magnetism it's like you're being pulled towards each other so that you can meet in the physical realm so because it's time for you to be together absolutely time for you to be together and see this is leo again so you have two leo cards and to me that's signifying you're going to be out in the public you in some way or you're going to if you're not out in the public physically when you are together you are going to um, exponentially um, be a huge significant force in the world for the positive energetically just by you two being together coming together in the physical you are joining now you're uh, if you don't some of you may or may not know this scientifically our cells we can we talk the, our cells talk to each other it doesn't matter how far away you could be the other person could be in the cross the in, on the other side of the world from you but your cells are talking to each other it's energy and energy knows no bounds knows doesn't matter the distance and you're connected now energetically cell to cell you are speaking and have been speaking some of you but it's time for you to come together in the physical and others of you again getting that if you're already with someone there is um, and you're intending on staying together it's where you were separated in that in in some way emotional way or some way but now you're coming together and you're joining forces again or for the first time and it's it's not only going to benefit you it's going to benefit the world at large it's going to benefit your community your friends and your family again this is a general reading so okay, so what else for Sagittarius Sun, moon, rising. Oh, I just got maybe some of you are going to be renewing your vows. I just got. So that's a special message for someone. This month, in November, I'm getting. I got the number eight. Maybe some of you on 
the 8th of November, the 28th of November. I, anyway, that's very specific. It's not going to be for, it's only going to be for someone. I would really love to know if you want to, if you would love to tell me if this is you, if anyone that is true for. Something too, I'm being drawn to the two snakes and that right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, that's the emblem for health or um, it reminds me of health for your, yeah, health. Something to do with your health. Sagittarius. Maybe you're wanting to take care of your health or you're concerned about your health or maybe you are concerned about um, a spouse's health or a friend's health. But it has to do with health in some way. And so that's a big part of your um world that's a big part of your world i just got that word world uh, this month is maybe taking care of your health or uh, honing in on maybe some of you haven't been and that's what you're zeroing in on this month is your health in some way fitness exercise eating healthy making sure you're drinking enough um, healthy relationship there you go again it's whole or rounded Okay, what else for Sagittarius? Sun and rising. Let's see, here we go. Look at that. Yes. Four of Wands. You are going to be celebrating something this month. Something. Again, it could be with another, with an, whether this is new or renewing your vows I'm getting again, something like that. But there is a celebration. There is a celebration because of something coming to fruition, some something, some type of renewal, some type of renewal for you. And it's refreshing. It's, it's an enlivening and it's very passionate. Whether this has to do with a person or a circumstance or whatever this is. But I'm seeing again, it's a couple. So two cards here having to do with a couple. So it has to do with another person for a lot of you. An incoming new person or uh, some type of celebration with the person you're already, a deepening of something, your, your bond. And then we have the emperor. Yes, you're in your power, Sagittarius, this month. You're feeling on top of the world. You are feeling very solid and secure where you are at in life. You could have areas in your chart. You don't have to. But this, this uniting with another, again, this strength card, it has everything to do with your personal security and you sitting in this emperor position in, in control of you and very happy and secure with where you are at right now. Again, a lot of you, it has to do with another, another person, whether they're coming in, you're, you're going to meet them soon, or whether you are re renewing some, some, connection and it's very very stabilizing for both of you equally equally so and you're definitely going to be celebrating celebrating around the holiday maybe around thanksgiving it could even be in December for some of you, but um, even the end of October. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what time it is. We've got. All right, so what other cards? Wow, okay, I'm being called to get. Want to see what 
card comes out for you, for your combined, for you and this other person, which again, it just is a, seems to be a partner month for you, Sagittarius. Again, if this isn't right for you, then you want to check possibly your moon, your ascendant sign, or your north or south nodes of the moon. Okay, so what is this energy, the strongest energy for, and I'm feeling it, combined energy for both of you. Again, didn't I say number 11? Here's 11, so 11, 11. I'm not sure if I said that in this reading. No, I didn't say it in this reading. Okay, you absolutely might have Scorpio prominent in your chart, if you do. Your sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon, you definitely might want to check that out because 11 came up in that reading too, and here 11 is, and so 11 is going to be a significant um, belief. It's belief. The secret, the frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. There you go. So maybe some of you have a strong knowing about this connection is going to happen or so, uh, someone is coming, you're going towards them or again, about someone specific you already know is possible. Yes, see, there's great healing. Great healing going to happen for you this month. And again, it's with this renewal, this renewal. Maybe it has to do with the truth coming out that you don't know. A relationship is going to be healed. Relationships healed. Your physical healing of your body, like I was getting that health, your health, this is going to heal your health, your health, Sagittarius, whatever this healing is. Again, this is a general reading, so, but it definitely has everything to do with healing and celebration and communication I just got and uh, your whole health your whole body, your whole body system. And I'm just getting to where you might have uh, your belief or your belief system or your what you have thought was correct and then it hasn't come true. And so you're, you're kind of down on listening to your own inner guidance. It, you, you're, you're not, you're not off. It's just, um, but you might be down on yourself a little bit. No need to be. Absolutely. No need to be because keep listening to that intuition. You do have insight, especially, and again, see 13, this is a partner, a partner month for you, Sagittarians in some way, shape or form. And a special partnership, a special insight having to do with a partnership, which you are correct. You are correct. Just because it didn't happen at the, the time or maybe something isn't happening or exactly the way that you have seen it to happen, it's not that you're not correct. It's that there is just, there's a little, a little, just a little difference for whatever reason. Again, it's a general reading, so I'm not really sure what that is in general, but maybe some of you are still weren't through with the tearing down mode, the destruction part, which is a positive thing, whatever the letting go of or walking away from. And so needed to finish that first, even though you're wanting the other to happen, it's, it's a process and it's a step-by-step -step process. And in, and in order for you to get that true root renewal, it all has to be taken care of first and completed on your end first, internally first. So maybe that has something to do with it for someone, possibly. I'm getting, not for all of you. Okay, so let's see what else. Let me 
So I'm just, uh, let's see what, what comes out in these, oops, these, these cards, these cards here for you for some more information. But it's definitely happening this month. Okay, I have two cards already. Okay. So just keep your, keep those hopes, keep those, that uh, positive energy going and thoughts, thought process going because it is coming. Yes. So again, security, which is just to me saying an, a confirmation of what I was saying about the, this is, this is how you're going to end the month. If you're not already there, it's going to be that you will be this way and you will see that you are secure and you are very grateful, very thankful, and you are being healed and that your belief was correct. There's something to celebrate your strength. You do have strength and security and you will see that come into form by the end of this month. So, and then this next card is stillness. So yes, stay still. And again, I'm just being drawn to say, because stillness, not this exact card, but um, stillness cards from tarot, two different cards in Scorpio reading that I just did. So very strong. If you have strong Scorpio and Sagittarius, then it's both of them are definitely speaking absolutely to you to and this has to do with the stillness is, is being able to gain that insight, the correct insight. So, so you continue this belief and you can see exactly, maybe there are some different, just a little bit different. It will come out and turn out a little differently, but you will have insight to that because again, this renewal and real truths coming out. That is an important thing. Real truths coming out for you would and are going to assist you in your insight, in the accuracy of your what you've been believing is coming. It is coming. It is coming. And I'm getting like see there's like a bunch of I don't know what if it's stars but I'm getting like sparklies coming down sparklies and so you're being you're being um showered you're being showered with security with security with healing with insight to your healing and to your security is what I'm getting. And it has everything to do with real truths coming out. And for some of you, again, it has to do with this partnership. So that is beautiful. I'd love to hear what that is. Okay, well, Sagittarius, that is all I have for you. Until next time.